Okay, so we are looking like we're about five minutes away from Inside of five minutes, are you ready? To terminal count. Let's go. Um, range and weather are continuing to look good, mm -hmm. and prop load continues on both stages of Starship. We'll close out here in just a minute or so. Yeah, we're, we're just about done. It I'd looks like, like let me grab my numbers real quick. We're not tracking any issues. We are uh, just creeping up to 90% full on the locks on the booster, a little over 93%. Final pee break warning. Or, there you go, sorry, can't see fuel me. on the booster. You got to use the head, guys. We're use just it about now. to close out, so only a couple of minutes to go there. Once we're done, you've already got in the ads, just shy we're good. of 11 million pounds <laughs> of liquid propellant all right. All right. on board those two different stages. We'll see a couple of final things happen. Well, you can't really see it. It's all going to be happening in our ground so, systems Andrew, yeah. as we'll do pushbacks, clear all of the propellant out of those lines that are flowing up through the tower and into the vehicles and get ready to check shortly to with all the right. engines uh, on the thrust vector control tower. Board is green, Katrin. Yeah, weather is good. If we need to hold, which we are not currently tracking a yeah. reason to hold, that would come at T minus 40 seconds. You saw us do that yesterday. We can hang out there for about eight minutes or so right now. That's the point. It's built into the countdown. If we need to wait for clouds that just won't go the heck away or any other issues, we can hang out at T minus 40 for a bit. But at the moment, we're not planning to do that. Now, once we pass that T minus 40 second mark, a number of events cool are going to occur in rapid succession. Good, the ground spin and ignition systems come up to flight pressure. The ship fine. will switch over to internal power. And after that, the QD arm it's lockout is fine. removed in preparation for retraction, which occurs shortly after T zero. Mm. And once we pass that T minus 40 seconds, we do still have the ability to then recycle the count under certain conditions back to T minus 40 seconds and hold no, there no, to assess really what happened. And if we can proceed again, back down to liftoff that's right we do have at least one point of no return though if the damn right, water cooled man. flame deflector underneath the launch mount fires off that happens a little bit after t minus 10 seconds that doesn't turn off once it starts going so we would have to stand down for the day if we do hit a hold or an abort I think at it'll that make point it by. so we can refill water tanks uh at this point we're not sure if we'd be able to attempt tomorrow because we have fully loaded the vehicle. The we have to do charts. a lot of know, fancy scheduling to get propellant in here it. as fast as possible. But again, we've got a pretty heroic and amazing team that works all of those logistics, got us into our attempt today after we did a unplanned wet dress yesterday it's during our attempt. Nitrogen cooling system. Um, so really there. exciting awesome. to see. But we're coming up on two minutes. We've got a green range. All right. We are green for weather. Green is up. Guys, I'm going to shut the uh, Twitch alerter off. I'm not sure I can do stuff about the combos. I'll look into it. Yeah, all right. So for your viewing pleasure. And not planning on holding <laughs> at T minus 40 seconds right now. That's but a good sign. in case we do pass that and any issues come up, we can recycle the count. Um, we're pretty lucky that we have this ability. Falcon doesn't have that built in, but being a developmental program, this affords us a lot more flexibility. So super useful to be able to have that. But again, not currently tracking any issues. So hopefully we'll be good to launch today. All right, coming up on 90 seconds. We've got a pretty good crowd gathering with us right outside Star Factory here at Starbase. Looks like we're getting a quick TVC, that wiggle check. Watch the engines. My favorite view of the rocket. Right under the launch mount. Oh. All right, so we've got crowds gathered out at Hawthorne. I swear crowds to God. gathered here <laughs> at Starbase. <laughs> Don't Super do fun to see people getting to watch out on the front lawn now. One minute to go. I swear to God, <laughs> All right, so the hold gate right, is so in 10 again, seconds. Our hold point comes up at T minus 40, not tracking any reason to stop there, so we should see us go right through that let's do this it's go right. time baby we are through t minus 40 <laughs> we are counting down we're going to let our flight director machak batura take us the rest of the way 30 going. seconds FD the reports go lift off of starship 20 seconds t minus 15 Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. That one. deluge is on. We got good ignition. SQD disconnect. 
be able to Eagle pitching down range. And we got a lift off. SpaceX's pet Starship test flight is in the air. Booster chamber pressure nominal. Dude. Program. All right, we're a little over 40 seconds into flight. 33 out of 33 wrapped the engine power. I love it. It's so nice. Getting good call outs. Healthy systems oh. on the booster as it starts to pitch over over the Gulf. I saw some turbulence in the plume, but it probably it looked like it was just All right, ice we're ice. a little over one minute mm. into flight, about to pack through Max Q. Maximum dynamic pressure is peak, Max Q. peak aerodynamic load on the vehicle. All right, so we are through the period of maximum dynamic oh. pressure, max stress on the Dude. vehicle as it continues to fly. Dude. Our next major event is going to be hot staging, which is happening in just over 90 seconds from now. Uh, to get ready, the booster will shut down all These but three of its right Raptor engines. The clamps holding the two Why stages we, together will release, and the, the Starship the second stage ignites its engines. The ship then separates from the super heavy booster and heads to space. At the same time, the three engines still firing on super heavy they will lost flip the, the booster around. Ten more engines That's will okay. ignite for the boost back burn, putting the first stage on the path for splashdown in the Gulf. I just did turn As off we mentioned earlier, the hot stage mm. will be jettisoned for this flight, and that should occur just after the boost back burn. Uh, so we're about to shut down the first stage and perform hot staging. So let's just watch and listen. Okay, vehicles rolling to the <clears throat> proper attitude orientation for the hot staging. One engine out in this phase of ascent is not that big of a deal, okay? The roll for separation alignment has been completed. Starship's now orienting to prograde vector right, for staging. the engine start to throttle down. Throttle down. Stand by for hot staging. Miko. Most engine cutoff. We got three Keep vacuum engines and three good sea level. And we got a good separation. Space separation. Oh, dude. dude. Stage separation confirmed. We've got six engines running on ship. Booster is doing its boost back burn, continuing now That's so towards cool. its splashdown site in the Gulf. Ship we are seeing all six raptors lit up on ship. Got a good call on raptor chamber pressures on ship. Still you got that one engine that's being a little bit of a troublemaker. Nominal, so that mm. chamber pressure, just that expected thrust level in those raptor engines on the ship. Three vacuum optimized, ship three sea level, all looking nominal. good. Good call out for the ship. Oh, man. Got a little bit of leakage up there, but that's expected. There's a view into the business end See it from up the, at the ship. Top? Burn shut down. Good shutdown on Super Heavy. All right, so at this point, we finished our boost back burn. So that was shut down. So that's the the first of the two burns it after could, a launch probably that the booster going to do today. Though. So now it's, it's, it's the purging system in the attic. headed towards the Gulf. <clears throat> they have a fire suppressant system. It's not going to be quite as an aggressive of a flight down. We relax that angle of attack a little bit. But we are then going to no, be looking for it more. to do Let's its go. engine tests for the landing burn. And those are going to be a little unique this time. This boost is Yeah, typically we start with rowdy. all 13 en center no catch inner today, engines planet. lit for that landing burn and bring that down to just the center three. Uh, but one of our test objectives for today is to simulate what an engine out situation would look like. So we're going to be intentionally turning off one of those center three and instead lighting one of the engines. We in the you, Fluffy, that's right. Yeah, we did see one of those engines in the middle ring shut down during the initial ring separation. Oh, it looks like we have hot stage jettison. You can see it floating away there. That's an engine chill down to the left of the booster. Purge out. Not a chill down. That's purge out right there. That's what. Yeah, we that's did why see one of those middle engines shut down during the ascent. Again, we are resilient to engine out. 
on Super Start Heavy. That's why we're able to get through our Good. ascent. Starship flying on the I don't think it was path. intentional, Heracnos. There's still a chance that engine could be back in the mix for the very start of the landing Ships burn. Up so a we'll see roll. if we light up all 13. But we've not I mean, sure we've if we've even an done a landing burn not. at the tower with an engine out. So <laughs> very resilient. We'll see how it does on its way down to the Gulf, though. Come on, 37. All right, so we got a couple of minutes. That landing burn start should be uh, just about 40 seconds away. If it was an induced roll, it would stop right about now. That's Booster always rad. Activated. You can see the... Booster's coming back. <clears throat> could see the boost plume itself in the background as it was coming in. Oh. All right, about 20 seconds to landing they burn. Ain't catch it. I'm bumming they ain't catching that thing, but it's still cool. Ship Raptor chamber pressure is nominal. Oh man, that thing's getting tossed around. I saw it, right, saw it wiggle go. back and forth. Here's the Five landing burn. Startup. 12 engines up. Like Down to three engines with the reserve. 15. Down to three, including one of the middle ring. Oh, she's good, man. That would have gotten caught all day. Look at that. Look at how stable that is. Down to two. Oh, she's good, dude. Nice little hover. Dude, and it's hovering. Shut down. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, God. And Here comes the water. The Here we come. Well, and the booster that's the end of that. has splashed down. <laughs> that was on purpose, though. Incredible flight for oh, it booster popped. today. Oh, it popped. It popped bad. Meanwhile, <laughs> back in space. That was an induced roll, guys. About seven it minutes into today's good. flight, ship that, that continuing was good. That was the ship doing that burn. on purpose. This goes until just about nine stopped. minutes That's into good. our flight. That ship engine cutoff is slated for eight minutes and 57 seconds. We are going to see those three RVAC, the Raptor vacuum engines. Those are the bigger circles in that little indicator on the bottom right of your bit. screen. You those will shut everything. down first. And we continue burning for a couple seconds longer on those inner three before we hit Seco, or second engine cutoff. Yeah, these views are looking great. Once again, thanks to Starlink for, for getting us these views. Yeah, Pi, it's, it's just crazy, incredible. Right? <laughs> and we just heard the sound from Booster. It's like we just, we just got a, <laughs> a late boom from the Booster. Yeah, we have ship pitch. engine cutoff coming up here just shortly. And as we mentioned, today's flight test is not an orbital flight, but rather one that demonstrates Starship's orbital capability. Starship from terminal guidance. Terminal guidance, closed loop. Starship is using its onboard uh, inertial right, measuring units the final to phase of this extrapolate its orbit. Under 30 <laughs> seconds to go. That little that little guy's still there, but.